Provision of food in the UK. If you look at this pie chart, you can see that just over half of the UK's food consumption comes from homegrown products, whereas the other half of food production comes from elsewhere. Why does the UK import so much food? Due to the ever-changeable weather and potentially extreme weather in the UK, there is risk of crop failure. Secondly, the cost of farm labour and cow feed is very expensive in the UK, so it's cheaper for us to source our food from other countries. The UK consumer demands a range of exotic foods, many of which can't be grown in our country. Also, UK consumers want access to out-of-season produce like strawberries all year round, and due to our climate, we cannot always grow these in the UK. Finally, UK supermarkets, they're in competition with each other, so they go around the world trying to see, source the cheapest possible products. However, an issue with importing food is food miles. Okay, this is the distance food travels from where it is grown to the consumer's plate. An example we can talk about is Monge 2, which is grown in Kenya, which is about 6,000 kilometres away from the UK. In response to trying to reduce our demand for foreign produce, agribusiness invests high amounts of money in technology such as combine harvesters so we can produce large amounts of food in the UK. Another option for UK farmers is agricultural uh, developments in organic produce which is when farmers don't use machinery or chemicals and the food they produce is of brilliant quality. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget.